Let me now take this opportunity for another two minutes to ask uh, my brother Achin Steiner, the UN Undersecretary responsible for UNDP, to make some brief remarks. That is another Kenyan from a place called Nakuru. Asante Sana, Mr. President, Chairperson of the African Union Commission, Heads of State and Government, Excellencies, Ladies and Gentlemen. A great deal has been said this morning, but I'm still inspired, if I may say so, by your speech this morning, Mr. President. And with that, I take a license for a moment to take you back to a year in Kenya's history when you were 15 and I just a little bit older. It was the year that in Olkaria in Hell's Gate National Park, the first geothermal unit was installed. I mention this because the journey of Kenya in so many ways represents when it comes to the energy sector, to leadership, to transition, to many of the things that you spoke about this morning, reflects what happens when people do not take the answer, it's not possible, it's not doable, it's too expensive, too seriously. Hell's Gate National Park is only about an hour outside Nairobi. Kenyans know it well. Visitors, please visit it because it is today one of the most remarkable places, the backbone of Kenya's electricity generating economy that first Mitsubishi turbine installed in 1981 was installed against a great deal of skepticism. I learned about this history during the years that I spent here. It took many pioneers to envisage it. Today, Mr. President, I believe that Alcaria, with its various generating turbines, generates almost a thousand megawatts of electricity. And ladies and gentlemen, you are in a country that may very well become the first country in modern history to actually generate its entire electricity supply with clean energy sources. Kenya today is a country that has passed the 92% mark, and it is no longer alone. In fact, Mr. President, there is another country in South America I visited, and I did not know. Uruguay, today, well over 90% of its electricity supply with renewables. This is not to say that every country can follow the same path, but what we do in UNDP, and why I'm so proud to be here together with my Secretary General and so many of the partners that are today invested in precisely the kind of vision that you have laid out for Africa, is that we can be partners. We have listened, we have learned, we have learned together. And today, as UNDP, 36 countries on the African continent have invited UNDP to help them undertake integrated national financing frameworks to address this continuously frustrating reality that this continent is asked to borrow for things that it was neither responsible for nor it can afford to borrow in this world of today. That is why looking at finance with the kind of lens that you have both spoken to this morning is so important. Secondly, also pioneering projects such as solar mini grids, another major enterprise of UNDP. For the first time in history, we are supporting 21 African countries to try and connect over the next few years 260 million people to electricity supplies. A $65 billion investment opportunity, but it needs hard work both to prepare the ground, to find the investors, and to then roll it out. And finally, Mr. President, let me just commit to you in the presence of so many leaders from across the continent. The United Nations Development Program, as part of the United Nations family, as you heard from the Secretary General this morning, is deeply committed to Africa's future transitions, coming out of the reality of today, but investing every day across the continent. I'm proud to today lead an organization within our UN development system that is literally present in every African country on this continent. We are invested in terms of your nationally determined contributions. We are invested in your energy transition just as deeply as we're invested in poverty eradication and ultimately a future for Africa that you spoke so eloquently this morning. Thank you so much for the privilege of addressing you today, and thank you. Thank you very much, Dana. I guess everybody, when they get a chance, they speak about their village. The old career where Steina has very passionately talked about is in his county of Nakuru. Thank you very much. Now, let me uh, give another two minutes. Finally, this